Hello everybody and welcome to the class. So we have been doing a lot of Japanese in these past lessons. You have learnt verbs and adjectives. In our last lesson, we did verbs in base form, in the dictionary form, in the present plain form. So now this time in this class, we are going to do verbs in past form, plain past form of the verb. That is what we are going to practice with a lot of other things also. Also, we will do something new today. I want to tell you about festivals in Japan. So, we will learn about a festival which happens, which is celebrated during this time of the year. So, well, before that, we will do our assignments as we always do and let us see how much is right, how much is correct, whatever you have done. So, well, the first assignment is match group A with group B and make good sentences. So, well, this is a very simple exercise. We have been doing sentences all these days in our previous lessons. So, well, what you have to do is you have to match them. Let us see what it is and you can check as well. Tanaka san wa mai nichi, nijikan benkyo o suru. So, if you remember, we had done plain form of the verb in our previous lesson. Instead of shimas, we are using suru, which is the plain form or the dictionary form of this verb of group 3. It means exactly the same as I told you last time, meaning does not change, only this is plain form of the verb. Watashi wa kino rokuji ni okimashita, past form. Minasan, pooru de nani wo shimasu ka? If the intonation is rising and high, you can omit the ka over here you do not have to use the ka only if the intonation is rising. It becomes a question statement. Well, ashita gogo shichiji ni kaigi ga arimasu. Can you tell me what is the plain form for arimasu? It is aru. Natsu yasumi ni kazoku to doko e ikimasu ka? Kazoku to isho ni is omitted over here, not written. Imoto san wa daigakusei desu ka? Raigetsu Amerika e ikimasu. Tomodachi wa mainichi uchi de ega o mimasu. Or Miru as is given over here. Daigaku no shiken wa raigetsu desu. So, well, I hope this was all correct. Now, we have this second assignment where fill in the blanks with appropriate interrogative words is given which you have to do. So, let us see what is the first interrogative word. Well, dare ga tegami wo kakimashita ka? That is who. Then, isu no ue ni nani ga arimasu ka? Because of arimasu, you have to use ni over here. Arimasu is for inanimate. Kino watashi wa doko e mo ikimasen deshita. As we did in our previous lesson, well, Doko emo will always have a negative verb in the end. Kino, dare ga kimashita ka? Dare is again who? Kono jisho wa dare no desu ka? Dare no is whose. As you know already, Dono kuruma wa nihon no desu ka? Now with dono and a noun over here, 
it is choice between 2. So, which one of these 2? Anata no tanjoubi wa itsu desu ka? Please remember tanjoubi is always itsu and seinen gappi is nan. Write hiragana for the words given below. Well, the hiragana is given here in the right column and you have the words here. You can check them out and practice your hiragana. Write it and practice. Now, you have to match the kanjis over here. Kanji is given over here in the left column in column A and you have the words in Roman in column B. So, let us see what is the first one over here. That is what we are doing actually. Nihongo. This is oki and this is hito means otona and adult. Dai gaku. Again, oki over here and gaku is seat of learning or place of learning. So, oki place of learning will naturally be a dai gaku, which is a university. Kino. Then, denwa. Denwa. We have done this kanji, it is a little complicated. You do not have to write it now. You can Remember it from the visual and try to memorize it. Tokyo Hanasu. So, you can see over here also there is the same character and you have this character here for Hanasu. The reading over here is then wa and over here it is Hanasu. Both mean to talk. So, talking on phone is tenwa. And this is Hanasu is to talk. Gozen. Mainichi. And then in the end we have Nen. So, I hope everything was correct. Now, fill in the blanks with particles, proper particles. Particles are not given. You are supposed to write the particles on your own. Well, I will just read it out once and let us see what you have done. Kino wa yasumi deshita. Watashi wa tomodachi to Densha de kaisha no hito tachi to issho ni picnic e ikimashita. So, densha de we have done mode of transport, we will always take particle de. Then, minna wa kanpur eki no iriguchi no mai ni atsumari mashita. Atsumari mas is to gather. Eki kara densha ni norimashita. So, shite ichi jikan ato bus ni norikaemashita. Norikaemas is to change from one mode of transport to another. Then, bus wa yama no naka o hashirimashita. Watashi tachi wa picnic no basho ni ju ichi ji. Ni tsukimashita. Ni will be because of time. Picnic no basho. Basho is place. So, shite sanjuppun yasumimashita. Juichi ji han ni soba no restaurant de. Soba is nearby. No restaurant de at oishi hiru gohan o tabemashita. Gohan no ato watashi tachi wa. Yamamichi o san kilo gurai aruki mashita. Gurai you already know is approximate time duration or amount. So, well over here san kilo 
Gurai approximately for 3 kilometers. We walked. Taksan shashi no torimashita. Torimas is to take pictures because of shashin over here. Shashin is picture. Then tsukare mashita kara taxi de kairimashita. Tsukare mashita is to be tired because tired taxi de kairimashita. Watashi no picnic wa tanoshikatta desu. I was very very happy during the picnic. It was an enjoyable experience is what it says. So well you can check your particles now. And this was reading comprehension. You were to read the passage and answer the questions. So well you can do it again. The answers are given right here. In short you can write proper sentences, make proper sentences and write full answers over here. The answers are right here for you. Atsumarimas means to meet and toru means to take a photograph or to snatch something from someone. So well this was your assignment set and now you can listen to the radio conversation. It is a simple conversation, very very short and then we will discuss it. Mariko, Tanjobi Omedeto. Oni san, arigato. Nan desu ka? Kamera desu yo. Oka san, oka san. Oni san ni kamera o moratta. Yokatta desu ne. Well, a very simple conversation over here between two people, One san and Imoto. One san is elder sister, Imoto of course you already know is younger sister and then there is another person over here, Oka san. So actually this conversation is between three people, Kaiwa is conversation. So well I will read it out once and you can see how much you understand. Mariko, tanjoubi omedeto, one san arigato. Nan desu ka? Kamera desu yo. Oka san, oka san, one san ni kamera o moratta. Yokatta desu ne. So, well, this is your conversation. This is in the script. There are a few words over here, there are a few expressions which, of course, I will do with you. And this is the English not translation, but this is what you would say in English when you get a present. So well, let us see what it is. Now you have this expression over here, you see three people on a table with a birthday cake and some presents wrapped up very nicely with paper and bows and some Glasses are kept on the table, some candles are there. So, well, let us see what they are saying and doing. Tanjobi omedeto gozaimasu. So, well, omedeto gozaimasu is an expression which generally you would use for uh, congratulating people. It could be birthdays, it could be on getting a good job, it could be when you have a child or you get good marks in class or you do well. It could be it could be omedeto on any, any occasion like this and omedeto means congratulations. So well they are congratulating this girl, we can call her Mariko over here. These two friends are congratulating Mariko san on her birthday. So let us see what it is. Tanjobi omedeto gozaimasu. Well we have these two saying this to Mariko san. And what does Mariko san have to say? Well, arigato gozaimasu. So, answer to tanjobi omedeto gozaimasu is thank you, arigato gozaimasu. So, you can use this phrase anywhere you want. For example, in our conversation, she just received a present from her sister. So, well, tanjobi omedeto gozaimasu, arigato gozaimasu. 
So now, in our previous lesson, we did verbs in dictionary form, present plain form like this, ikimasu, tabemasu, yomimasu, kakimasu, hikimasu. We have been doing verbs in mas form, mas, masen, mashita, masen deshita. This form we did in plain form as well, iku if you remember, taberu group 2, yomu group 1, kaku, kaku group 1 and kiku group one again. Now, we have also done ikimashita, tabemashita and so on, yomimashita, kakimashita and kikimashita. Now, how will you make the past plane over here? It is very simple. All you have to do is, you have to add tta for group 1 T T A for group 1, T A for group 2. So, look over here, remove the mashi from over here and ta be ta for group 2. So, you have group 2 verbs like miru, taberu in plain form, neru. So, mita, tabeta and neta, that is how you will make for group 2. Well, for group 1, you have to add tta. So, over here, ikimashita, itta, yomimashita. Yonda Kaki Mashta Kaita. So, well, group one has a lot of exceptions also. Thus, sometimes you will add TTA, sometimes you may have to add ITA, sometimes you may have to add NDA. So, well, there are these exceptions, we will do these exceptions during our class over the lessons now, from now onwards. For the time being, you have this set over here, which you can practice, get it from the sound, it is easier and simpler. So, well, we have ikimashita in the beginning, I will say it out, please repeat after me, ikimashita. Itta, kairimashita, kaetta, aimashita, atta, kaimashita, katta, hakobimashita, hakonda, migakimashita, migaita. Hashirimashita, Hashitta, Hanashimashita, Hanashita, Kakimashita, Kaita, Kikimashita, Kita, Arukimashita, Aruita. So, well, now you will see that in some places you have TTA, TTA over here, in this case it is all TTA, then here you have NDA, ITA, 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 ITA. So, well, there are these verbs which have TTA, which have NDA and 
which also have ita. We will get used to these verbs as we practice here in class during our lessons. So, it is not very difficult, it is simple, get it from the sound initially and then we will make sentences. Now, practice verbs in plain past form. You have done in present form in our dictionary form. Now, we will do in plain past form. What is the first one? Let us see. There is this picture of this gentleman leaving his house, his wife is inside. Well, hachiji ni uchi wo demashita. So, what do we have now? In plain form, hachiji ni uchi wo deta. So, you can see demashita and deta in plain form. It does not change the meaning at all, only the verb changes from mashita to plain form. That is all. Then we have this gentleman sleeping, it is 11 o'clock in the night probably and he is sleeping and let us see what it is. Ju ichiji ni nemashita. So, he has, he slept at 11 o'clock and what is the plain form? I told you here on the board, it is right here for you, ne ta. So, well let us see what is written over here, ju ichiji ni ne ta. Now, we have another picture where this gentleman is asking something and this lady is pointing at something. So, let us see what it is. Onna no hito ni kikimashita. Kikimas is to ask over here. Kikimas means to listen also and kikimas also means to ask. So, over here as he is asking, well, let us see what it is. Onna no hito ni kiita. So, well the verb in plain form is not k i t a, not k i t a kita, but ki ita please. It is a long sound. So, please remember that it is a long sound over here ki ita. Now, you can practice this with other verbs as well. You can make sentences with these verbs in mass form and then you can try making the same sentence in plain form. We have more practice for you. Now, what is this gentleman doing over here? He has a box in his hand. What is he trying to do? Well, let us see. Nimotsu. Nimotsu is? luggage, baggage or something that you are carrying. So, well he is carrying a box, nimotsu wo dozo. Tell me what it is. We did it in the practice just now. Let us see ok. Hakobu, nimotsu wo hakobu. To transfer nimotsu, to transfer something from one place to another is hakobu. Now, it is in plain form, in dictionary form, in present plain form. Now, what are we going to do with past tense? Nimotsu wo hakonda. Nimotsu wo hakonda. Please practice. You can see N D A is given over here. So, all verbs in their plain form, if they end in bu like this, then in past form, it is n da. Please remember that. Kare wa nimotsu o hakonda. He transferred luggage from baggage from one place to another. Now, let us see what we have in the next picture. Well, we have a classroom, teacher is leaving, and the students are saying thank you very much or arigato. So, well what is it? Benkyo o. Well, tell me what it is. It is suru. Benkyo o suru. To do. What is it in plain past form? Can someone tell me please? Benkyo o 
Okay, let us see. Benkyo o shita because it is already over. So, well, what is the sentence? Seito wa ju ichiji made benkyo o shita. And in mass form, it will be seito wa ju ichiji made benkyo o shimashita. Seito is gakusei tachi, pupils or students. Made is till. Now, we have another picture over here. There is Tanaka san who is about to eat and has finished eating as there is nothing on the plate now. So, well, Gohan o, can you tell me? We did it here just now on the board, right here for you. Gohan o tabeta, that is right. Gohan o tabeta. In plain form, it is Gohan o taberu. And then gohan o tabeta and tanaka san wa gohan o tabeta. Mass form is tanaka san wa gohan o tabe mashita. So, I hope it is clear now how to use past plain form. Meaning does not change at all. Now, there is a small conversation here. Nani ka tabemasu ka? Iie, ima nani mo tabemasen. Dou shite desu ka? Kesa tabeta kara ima tabemasen. So, I am sure this is understood. You all have understood this. Dou shite is why. Nani ka something. We have done this earlier. Nani ka tabemasu ka? Will you have something? Iie, ima nani mo tabemasen. I will not have anything. And whenever there is nani mo, whatever verb follows is always in the negative. Doshite desu ka? Why? Kesa is today morning. Tabeta kara I had in the morning. Thus, ima tabemasen. I will not eat now. So, well, you can practice it. Saki, a little while ago. Same conversation. You can replace kesa with saki. For example, nani ka tabemasu ka? Iie, ima nani mo tabemasen. Doushite desu ka? Saki tabeta kara, I just had a little while ago, ima tabemasen. So, well, you can replace all this, whatever is going to follow now. Uchi de tabeta kara ima tabemasen. Now, over here, shigoto, aru and kara. So, you can see before kara, before you give a reason, always plain form will come because masen is in the end. Now, as I told you earlier, in Japanese, mas form is always going to come in the end always mass form is used in the end. Now, when, when you want to make sentences like this, when you want to make complicated sentences, when you want to use more than one verb, what will you do? You have to use verb in plain form because mass form will come only in the end. You cannot have two mass forms in a sentence. Please remember that and things will be very, very easy. Now, saki tabeta uchi de tabeta shigoto aru and kara you are giving reason over here. So, you will see before kara verb is always in plain form. That is what is important over here. You have to remember that when you are talking, then when to use plain form, when to use mass form, you have to keep in mind. Now, what is next? Ato de taberu kara. I will eat later. Ato de taberu kara ima now tabemasen. 
So, this is how you can make your sentences, a small dialogue, a very, very small dialogue, but everything is stated very, very clearly. Another one, doshite desu ka, why are you not eating now? Ima isogashi kara, tabemasen, I am busy over here, thus I will not eat now. Now, you can also do this with other time expressions that you have done. For example, in this conversation, Indo ryori o tabemashou ka? Iie, kino tabeta kara, kyo tabemasen. I had it yesterday, thus will not have it now. So, let us see what other time expressions we can use. Indo no ega. As you can see on the board, kino tabeta kara ima tabemasen, senshu, ega o mimasu ka, iie, senshu mimashita kara, senshu mita kara, ima mimasen, picnic e ikimasu ka, iie, shiomatsu ni ni itta kara ima ikimasen or ashita ikimasen. So, you can use these time expressions that you have done in class earlier and make sentences give reasons for not doing a certain thing or for performing a certain activity. Like this over here instead of indo ryori, you can replace it with tenrankai. It is very clear, indo no ega mimashou ka, senshu instead of kino, senshu mimashita kara kyo mimasen. So, you have to replace the verb accordingly. Tenrankai e ikimashou ka, ototoi ikimashita kara or itta kara kyo ikimasen. What else do we have? Shokudo e ikimashou ka, saki itta kara, we did this word saki in the previous slide, saki itta kara ima ikimasen. Then we have kohi o nomimashou ka, saki nonda kara ima nomimasen. So, that is how you can practice with your partner, one person can ask and one person can answer and you can do simple conversation like this in Japanese. Now, let us see what is next. We have two verbs over here, which are a little difficult and there is lots to do in these verbs as well. I will just introduce these verbs today and then we will do these verbs in our next lesson also. Age mas and morai mas. Age mas means to give and morai mas means to receive or to get. So, you will see over here who is giving and who is receiving is what is important with these two verbs over here. And in Japanese, it has a lot of, lot of importance because relationships are important, your position is important when you are giving something to someone, when you are talking to someone, when you are performing an activity with someone, your relationship with that person is extremely important where you are placed is important and that is how you will use these two verbs agimas and moraimas in conversation. So, well over here a simple introduction, two people are again talking, Rao san, imoto san no tanjoubi ni nani wo agemashita ka, what did you give? Now, over here A san is talking about younger sister of Rao san. So, well he is using san over here. Please remember, san is not to be used for family members. 
only for someone else or someone else's family members, you would use san. So, over here, rao san, imoto san no tanjoubi ni, date ni, nani o agimashita ka? Watashi wa kamera o agimashita. I gave a camera. So, well, this is agimas, very simple. You have this, this vocabulary over here, lot of words are given. Oto san, oka san, imoto, tomodachi. Kodomo, otosan. So, lots of words you can replace for imotosan, and again for camera, it is given over there. You can also replace for camera with ningyo, ningyo, omocha, toke, or anything. A, A san wa B san ni nani o age ma shita ka. Over here, so well, ningyo o age mashita, ningyo o age mashita, omocha o age mashita, toke o age mashita. So, you can practice it like this, it is given over here, you can make any combination over here, otosan, okasan, imoto, ototo, kodomo, any of these and then you have instead of tanjobi, you can have kekkonshiki, which is marriage, kekkon kinenbi, which is marriage anniversary. And sotsugyo no toki, which is graduation, you can replace it with tanjobi. Rao san imoto no kekkon shiki ni nani o agemashita ka? Or imoto no kekkon kinenbi ni nani o agemashita ka? Well, we have, let us see, shosetsu, tokei, dores. Nekutai, shatsu, omocha, any of these things you can give. This is Niwatsukuri Hon, which is a gardening book. So, watashi wa dores o agemashita, watashi wa omocha o agemashita, watashi wa toke o agemashita. You can practice like this with your partner. Now, we did this verb just now, agimas. Now we are going to do moraimas. So, well, Rao san, oka san kara nani o moraimashita ka? Rao san, oka san kara nani o moraimashita ka? So, well, watashi wa Watashi wa hon o, hon o moraimashita. Watashi wa hon o moraimashita. Watashi wa instead of hon, you can have, you can have toke, hon o moraimashita, toke o moraimashita, shatsu o moraimashita or any, anything you want. O morai mashita. Practice is given over here. You can practice. Watashi wa oka san kara from my mother. Kara over here means from. You have done it for time. You have done it for place. Well, you can use kara now in this manner. Rao san oka san kara nani o morai mashita ka? Well, watashi wa oka san kara toke o morai mashita. Otosan kara nani o moraimashita ka? Imoto kara nani o moraimashita ka? And so on. You can replace oka san for any of these words over here. And then we have all these words for you. 
Nani nani o moraimashita, you have shosetsu, which is novel, tokei, dores, niwatsukuri hon, nekutai, shatsu, omocha. So you have all these, you can say ototo wa nekutai o moraimashita or kodomo wa omocha o moraimashita. Any of this and make good sentences and do kaiba. So this is what it is, verb is expressing to give, to receive, ageru and morau respectively depend on who gives what to whom. That is very, very important. You can just read this and you will understand. Of course, we will be doing these verbs again in next, in our next chapter, in our next class and also after that because there are a lot of things that need to be covered with Agemas and Moraimas. This is a very, very small introduction to these two verbs. Now, we have another practice. You have done this counter kai earlier, if I remember correctly. Do you remember doing this word kai? Jimushitsu wa nan kai desu ka? Which floor? Number of floors. Jimushitsu wa nikai desu. So, well, it is on the second floor. Now, today we are going to do kai again, but in a different way. Anata wa mainichi nan kai gohan o tabemasu ka? For example, how many times do you eat food? So, well, let us see now. Anata wa mai nichi nankai nankai number of times gohan o tabe mas ka so how many times do you eat food watashi wa nikai tabemasu kodomo wa yonkai tabemasu so depending on the number of times you eat you can put the number over here and add kai to it. Number is here and kai is to be added. So, many number of times. Now, instead of gohan over here, you can have ega or, or you could say ha o migaku or more interesting, tomodachi ni denwa o suru. So, how many times do you call your friend? How many times do you talk to your friend? How many times you brush your teeth? How many times you have juice? You can, you can ask like this and answer and practice. Simple conversation. The conversation is right here. We will do it right away. Tanaka san wa mainichi nankai gohan o tabemasu ka? Sankai tabemasu. And A san says, watashi wa nikai tabemasu. So, simple both are giving information about themselves. You have ha, which is teeth, kagami, which is mirror, and shower, of course, you all know. Migaku is to brush. How many times you brush your teeth? Mimas is to see and abimas is to take a bath. So, well, Tanaka san wa mainichi nankai ha o migakimasu ka? Nikai migakimasu. Ah, watashi wa ikkai migakimasu. So, well, you can answer like this. Mariko chan, mainichi nankai kagami o mimasu ka? Jukkai mimasu. Watashi wa ikkai mo mimasen. I do not even see it once. So, you can practice like this and use all these times a number of activity is done in your conversation. Now, again you can practice with time expressions. For example, instead of mainichi, you can put kino 
shuni meaning in a week, ikagetsu ni in a month. So, Tanaka san wa ikagetsu ni nankai oka san ni tegami o kakimasu ka. So, yonkai. I write to my mother four times. Tanaka san wa shuni ni nankai kaimono o shimasu ka. Sankai. I do it thrice in a week. So, you have these, these uh, words over here. You can practice kai with time expressions and make simple conversation using kai. These small words actually help your conversation, help you do conversation in a better way. Kai is given, it is a counter for counting number of times an activity is performed, a work is done during a certain period of time. So, you have ikkai, nikai, sankai, yonkai, gokai. It is simple, you just take the number and add kai after that. Then, as we always do, I am going to do kanji with you. We have okasan. Kanji for okasan. It is a simple kanji, mother you already know the word 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. It is a mother feeding her child, feeding her baby like this. So, that is okasan like this. You can see the number of strokes given over here. Let us see it is a 5 stroke character. And then we have otosan. This word also you have done. Otosan means father. It is interesting, this character is a four stroke character. Fathers are always frowning, they are always angry and always scolding. So, it is from the face expression. You have the brows frowning, and there is father always scolding and ready to beat if the children make a mistake. So, that is what it is. We have been doing hiragana. There are a lot of things we need to cover now. So, well hiragana is there. This is the last section of hiragana for the first set of 46 syllables. Well, this is va as you can see. Please kindly note the stroke order. The right correct stroke order is right here for you. You need to draw the straight line first and then make it like this. So, please get the order right, make it properly and learn it like that. Well, you can see Y is right here for you. Then we have O. Again, O is like this 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, please again the stroke order is given properly over here for you. Please check it out and then write and practice. Now, we have mm, this is the last syllable of the 46 syllables in the first set. It is the sound of n which you will see in minasan or remon. So, these are this is the sound that you get over there. Well, please learn it like this. It is similar to our h in the English alphabet. You can see the stroke order now. It is a little slanting, it's tilted and that is how it is made. This is vocabulary. You can go through the vocabulary. It is given in Roman, in the script, in hiragana and then the meanings are given over here. Just go through the vocabulary and practice it loudly at home. Now, as I had promised to you earlier, I am going to be doing important festivals of Japan here in class. Today, I have a very nice uh, festival, the Hanami festival of Japan and why I have chosen Hanami today is because we have just seen that festival end in the middle of May. So, well, this is 
Matsuri festival is also called Matsuri in Japanese and we will see what it is. It is a beautiful festival, it is a festival of flowers, it is an old traditional festival of Japan and you will see the pictures, the pictures are all from the net, you can also go and look up all of it on the net, it is there, but this is just an introduction and I hope you enjoy it and like it. It is called Hanami as I told you just now, Hana means flower and me you have done this character here, this means miru to see or to view. So, viewing flowers bloom is hanami, celebrating the spring season is hanami. Now, you just see the pictures and you will know, well these are the sakura trees, the sakura blossoms and this particular flower is also the unofficial national flower of Japan. They are beautiful flowers, these trees are planted alongside the road next to the riverside in cemeteries all over Japan and when they bloom it is a beautiful sight because the sky looks pink and not blue. It is beautiful, people go there, people celebrate the Hanami season, people go to watch these flowers. Now, this custom of viewing flowers, this custom of going enjoying like this celebrating the spring is very old in Japan. This started sometime long long back in somewhere in the 8th century or the 7th century where initially only the imperial house, the royal family would go and view these flowers, would enjoy this season with their family and friends. But over period of time gradually this shifted to the samurai section and also then to the common man. And initially instead of the sakura flowers which are very popular now in Japan, ume flowers or the plum flowers were actually more popular and they were viewed. The people of Japan would celebrate under those trees, picnic, party, enjoy with friends. Now it is of course the sakura flowers, you see more pictures and you will see. Now you see sakura over here, it is just wild all over and once it blooms in the month of April and May, it is a wonderful sight to see actually. It starts from the lower southern most island of Japan which is Okinawa and from there as it gets warmer and warmer, it moves northwards towards the topmost island of Hokkaido and gradually it blooms. So that is called the Sakura Zensen and uh, in the news the meteorological agency always follows that blooming of the flowers and they celebrate it in Japan. So, this is one, well you can see another one, you can see this river over here, it is planted alongside rivers, brooks and ponds, lakes all over in cemeteries and how beautiful it is. These are actually the flowers, just five petals to it, but they bloom in groups, bunches and you can read all of this, all the material is given. You can also go on the net and see for yourself, that is how they celebrate, sit under the tree, enjoy good food with friends and family, chat and enjoy. All this you can see how beautiful it looks. They are called cherry blossoms and alongside rivers also, riverside you will have and you just go and celebrate, enjoy the day out, enjoy the spring season after a long harsh winter. Now there is a saying over here also, I have been doing uh, proverbs with you. And this interesting proverb is 
hana yori dango means actually that the person instead of watching flowers is more interested in eating food but there is a deeper meaning to it and it means that you are very very practical a person is very practical is interested only in practical things and material things and would actually not enjoy something as beautiful as flowers so well someone who is very practical does not bother about beauty is what it is hana yori dango more interested in eating than viewing flowers well this is dango and you can see how it is it is made out of sticky rice in Japan. It is roasted also and you can go on the net and see. Now in the end you have your assignments, my work is over, we have discussed a lot of things, practiced a lot of things, you have your assignments right here, you have to finish these assignments today, match group A with B as we have been doing all along match kanji with hiragana, proper readings, then we have, you have to choose the most appropriate word from the brackets, tick the word, then change all of this into past form, verbs and words that you can change and look at the pictures and practice your verbs and that is all for today, that is all that we have for you. There is less homework but a lot of learning to be done because there are verbs in past tense. So, please practice all this at home because we are going to do something new in our next class very soon. So, mina san mata ashita aimashou, arigatou gozaimasu, thank you.